damn, I had this really good intro I was going to do, and I totally just spaced right before I hit the button, uh, because this is a one take, one, this is a one o'clock one take, a one in the morning one take weekend vertical video. Uh, but yeah, it's one thirty Sunday morning now, I got off work a little bit ago, my puppy, I have, I've literally slept four hours, maybe, in the past 48 hours due to my puppy being sick, um, but he's doing better now, he, uh, I don't know, he's throwing up constantly, we had to take him to the hospital, yada, 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 vet bills later, medicine later, he's coming, he's good, he's sleeping right now, but, um, with his mom, but yeah, I'm just here, I got this, you know, I'm just chilling, right, relaxing after compressing after work, fucking busy, look, I sliced my thumb, and I slice my finger. You gotta love being a bar back. And literally, I'm fucking all night I, cutting lemons, extra limes, fucking jalapenos. It's been a crazy night. And I want to talk about um, Navy, like Navy tradition and hazing. And kind of those, how they intertwine, similarities, and, and then separately also. But I remember... Uh, when I got in in 2010, that you know you would hear you would hear the salty ass guys say like, "Oh man, I remember back in my day, back in the 80s and 90s, and early 2000s, whatever. The Navy was so much different, you know, blah blah blah. The Navy like it's so strict now, so politically correct. And this was in 2010 they were saying this. I know it's so much worse now, 2016." It's so, 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 so much worse. It was even so much worse when I got out at the end of 2014. Um, it was already, like, getting bad. Um, so, man, you guys are to active duty now. I, I, I'm sorry, but, uh, yeah, it's just how it is. It's just how society is now, I guess, right? So you got to adapt, you got to adjust, whatever. You, but it brings me to the next topic, talking about um, Navy tradition, and with the crossing the line ceremony becoming a shellback, I did the crossing the line ceremony on the Lincoln the first time, and I did it on the George Washington the second time, and this was, the crazy thing is, when I think, when I was thinking about this, I was like, dang, I have to, like, this is crazy, I did the first one in 2011, I did the second one in 2013, two different ships, but it was so much different how it just how much it changed in two years thinking about it now is crazy in 2011 when i was a wog and i was going through the ceremony to become a showback i got woken up basically in the morning with like honey poured on me water all over my rack they pulled us out into the birthing we were like in t-shirts and like pt shorts only um water was filled like literally across the whole ship there was probably a couple inches of water and we were getting pushed across it the water was brown like used as mops to clean it all up they would drew like circle you know like just crazy shit like that it's it's fucking navy tradition like you you put your time in you just take it like a man and then you become a shell bag and then you're able to pass it on to the next group of fucking wogs. And the crazy thing is, when I did it in 2013 as a shellback, there was a bunch of us that didn't even do it. That didn't even want to fucking do it. Because, get this, everybody now, it had only been two years. But we had to sign waivers. We all had to sign fucking waivers. People got to opt out. People... After you signed the waivers, like when we were doing the ceremony, when we started, they were like, you can't touch people. You can't draw the circles on the shirts, right? We'd make like buttons, right? So I'd draw like a little circle and say like, if I touch this, you have to dance like a, you know, I don't know, dance like a monkey or twirl like a ballerina. Stupid, just, you know, silly things. And you couldn't do that anymore. You couldn't touch people. You couldn't pour anything on them. It was the most PC, watered down, like stupid fucking thing I've ever seen and a bunch of us didn't even participate in the ceremony because it had changed so much like 
all the shit I had to go through in 2011 to become a shellback, they got it. They didn't even have to do fucking half of it, three quarters of it. They didn't even do anything. They had to fucking maybe eat some green eggs and ham and then go up on the flight deck and blow some water out of the um, fucking, oh, what the fuck do you call them? The tie downs. And and I know a bunch of you are going to say, you know, if you're, if you were in the Navy, you know, before me, you're going to say, oh, you probably had it easy. I had it way worse. No, I know I had it pretty fucking bad. Like, I don't I don't want to give the whole thing away. You know, I don't know if I can talk about it, whatever. But I, I've heard stories from people that did it back in the early 2000s and the 90s. And it was fairly close. You know, no, like, Tabasco or hot sauce in the eyes or, like, you know, nothing fucking crazy. But it was still pretty fucking gnarly. Um, but it's just so much, it's taken away the Navy tradition. It's not hazing. It's fucking Navy tradition. Crossing line ceremony, they should, they need to make it, they need to make it back into what it used to be. Like, that's how it should fucking be. If you want to opt out, then just opt out. But make it, like, if you opt out, though, everyone's going to call you fucking pussy. Right? So what are you waiting for, you dumb, stupid fuck? Because that's what you basically are. Just saying. But fucking... Um, they should make it back how it used to be, you know? The actual fucking ceremony. That's Navy tradition. That's hundreds and hundreds of years of tradition. And, you know, it's just gone. It just recently. And it's crazy. And, um... And yeah, I guess that's what I wanted to talk about. Oh, but yeah, that's my rant uh, this evening, guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I'm interested to know if there's some fucking salty-ass people out there that went through it before me. How was it for you? Um, but all right, guys, there's always social media stuff below. I, I'm going to edit this real quick. I think I almost did a one take. I like couple edits and then i'm gonna go to sleep i get to sleep in tomorrow so uh fucking stoked and i'm interested to see what you guys say in comments and shit but uh <coughs> right, man another thing the reason i'm able to like operate and function on four hours of sleep in almost two days is because of the navy actually that you get really good at sleep deprivation and like doing shit in zombie mode but, uh, all right. I'll see you guys. You know, sometimes I think to myself, what are you waiting?